What's up guys, KS here. Thanks for joining me today as always. Right off the bat, you guys might notice something a little bit different. There is a black gr uh, background rather than the wood background that uh, you guys are used to, that wood table that I normally use. Well, believe it or not, it's still the same wood table, but I learned with the FN509 Tactical that periodically I need to switch up the background a little bit first to make sure you guys can see whatever it is I'm showing as best as possible, but also to make it as easy on the camera as possible. So this is a little bit of an experiment, but I think it's gonna work really well with the uh, the products that I've got in front of us today. So. I want some feedback from you guys if you like this or not. Now, I will tell you, I prefer the wood background, so it will definitely return. But again, I think you're gonna see this from time to time. And if you're curious, it's just a silicone mat I got on Amazon, it was probably 12 bucks. It's pretty good size, uh, but it absorbs a little bit of the light, so it doesn't have a glare to it or anything. So um, I think it was the right choice. And again, leave some feedback on that. Now you guys are probably wondering about the holster and mag carrier and wallet we have in front of us, and these are from Renaissance Firearms. I was talking with my buddy Big Johnson Guns and Gear, you guys know him well, I do a live stream chat on Wednesday nights with him in 1776 or bust. Well Big Johnson sent me a picture of this mag carrier right here with this pattern, and this is called a hex cam Macaloo pattern, I hope I'm saying that right. But he showed it to me and I just fell in love. I, I like uh, patterns and things that are just a little bit out of the ordinary. You know, it's it's one thing to have a black holster, there's nothing wrong with that, or a brown holster, or whatever. But I think it's kind of fun to do things just a little bit differently, and this pattern just, <laughs> it was awesome. So um, he got me in touch with Renaissance Firearms, uh, Chip, the owner uh, of the company, and we started talking, and um, and just one of the coolest guys. I mean, he is so much fun to talk to, and, and we talked for quite some time, and we ended up talking about the Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0 Compact. That's one of my favorite guns in the collection, you guys know that. Um, I think it's absolutely fantastic. Now I've got an inside the waistband option for that and I carry it um, with some frequency, but I wanted an outside the waistband a holster as well. So Chip was nice enough to put this together for me as well as the mag carrier and the wallet. So we're going to talk a little, a little bit about these, just uh, what you can expect if you're interested in checking out Renaissance Firearms. All right, so let's take a look at this holster. Now, this is the Drake Pancake Holster, and again, made for the Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0C. That's a mouthful right there. Uh, now, a couple of things. I'm gonna get this out, and you guys will laugh. It's gonna look like I'm really struggling to get it out. It's not that. I'm trying to avoid actually hitting the camera, and the stand is right here. Um, so I'm always afraid that I'm gonna bump it or knock it over or anything like that. So there's definitely some retention on this holster, which I'll talk about, but uh, but, but there isn't quite as much as I'm making it look like. Uh, but, uh, but anyways, it's an outside the waistband holster, and uh, one of the really cool things about this, I'll just give you some different angles here. Chip was telling me that this is built actually on a curved jig, and what that does is it aids in conforming to the body body when the mold comes out. So um, I think that's really cool. It's one of the really important things, especially about uh, about an outside the waistband holster. You want to make sure that this thing really gets up as close to your body as possible. And this definitely does. I've been kind of playing around with this and uh, and wearing it a little bit. Um, I'll definitely be wearing it uh, more in the fall and the winter, but uh, but kind of playing around and wore it to the range a couple of times. And, uh, and I just, it feels absolutely fantastic. It's very comfortable. Now, one of the things I noticed right off the bat is the finish on this. He really took the time to make sure that every single little tiny uh, nook and cranny of this is finely buffed. So there, everything is very smooth. There are no jagged edges, um, no shaving marks or, or no dust or anything. Sometimes you get holsters and they've got a lot of dust and a lot of finishing stuff inside. That was not the case with this. So he really made sure to take the time to finish it up. And you'll notice that there's a sweat guard as well. And I love the fact that he kept it kind of a green. So it goes with this pattern really well. And, um, and and again, I mean, the, the finished product is fantastic. Now, um, hopefully you guys can see some of the different uh, contours of this for that Smith & Wesson. You'll notice right off the bat that there actually is a retention screw right here. It's in front of the trigger guard. Now, um, he does do other uh, holster options and he can do some custom options, including light bearing custom options. Uh, do note that the retention screw would not be available with the light bearing options, but I believe because of that, because of the light, that's gonna give it some more retention uh, just naturally. So. Uh, shouldn't make an impact on your retention at all. And you guys will also notice that there are adjustment rivets or holes right here so you can move your clips on both sides up or down and that's going to adjust your ride height but it's also going to adjust your cant or anything like that so you can really play around with it and make it as comfortable on you and as 
as uh, form fitting the cant all that as you want it to so uh, a lot of really nice options there and he did throw in some different clip options you'll notice that there uh, these guys right here show that for a moment but he did also throw in some speed clips as well so he's got some different uh, options to throw this on your belt which is really nice and it's one of the things especially about an outside the waist uh, band rig is sometimes it can be a little bit more cumbersome to take on or off so having those speed clips is really handy as well although these seem to work really well for me um, they they just uh, they keep it really nice and tight and if I know I'm, I'm going to be wearing it the whole time I'm not expecting to take it off anytime soon or anything it just makes more sense for me to go with these. Now the Kydex on this is something that a lot of people are really curious about what kind of Kydex and how thick. Now this is a 0.08 uh, Kydex. I don't really know a lot about Kydex, but I know that that's a thicker Kydex, a little bit more, um, a little higher quality. And it's a genuine Kydex as well. It's not one of those thermoform plastics or anything like that. I mean, there's some holsters out there that are they're fine holsters, but a little bit, a little bit cheaper, a little bit cheaper uh, quality made and, and not quite as rigid. I mean, this thing really, it's stiff, uh, which is great. So it's it's definitely going to retain its exact shape and, uh, and, and retain that quality as well. Another really cool thing about this, the print on this is actually not a surface treatment. Um, it's actually infused into the material. So I, it really just goes all the way through or close to it anyways, as I understand it. Um, so that means that, you know, if there are scratches or bumps or anything like that, you're less likely to damage the print on it, which is really nice. Um, I, I know that there are some other uh, holsters out there when they print it just right on the top. If you start scraping it, you can actually, you can scrape that print off, which is kind of a bummer. So um, again, um, he did an absolutely fantastic job with this Drake pancake holster. Listen to that retention. I mean, this thing really does work very well. And um, it looks like it retains probably more than what it really does because of <laughs> how it is on camera. Uh, but the gun draws very nicely uh, when there isn't a camera right here or anything like that. And uh, and he just did an absolutely fantastic job. So I would definitely take a look at the, uh, the Drake pancake holsters if you're looking for an outside the waistband solution. And on to the Hudson Magazine Carrier. This was the uh, the item that really started it all. Um, now it does carry forward a lot of the same attributes that the uh, Drake Pancake Holster did, but this one instead is actually vacuum formed uh, using an aluminum mold on a CNC machine. So uh, it's very precisely made, which is nice. And you'll notice that there are adjustment points as well on this. Now this is gonna fit most of your common nine millimeter and 40 caliber uh, magazines like this Smith & Wesson magazine right here. It just pops right in and out. If I wanted to throw some of the other magazines I might have to do just a little bit of adjustment but uh, but they will pop right in I've tested them on uh, Glock and FN and CZ and all of them work very well so uh, again fits all of your common uh, magazines and uh, it's got of course your clip right here you could wear this outside the waistband or inside the waistband either way it'll work just fine um, and it definitely holds on uh, very nicely so uh, once again that same quality that same fit and finish which is great uh, that same pattern I, lo I love that these are actually matching patterns they're so Something about that. I don't know what it is, but uh, but love this mag carrier and um, definitely a great accessory to go along with your holster. And last but definitely not least, we've got a Kydex uh, wallet right here. Now Chip was telling me this is not something that he normally does, um, so he's just been kind of playing around with some different uh, wallet options and that sort of thing. But uh, but once again, the same quality uh, Kydex is going into the wallet as well, and uh, you can do your patterns, your custom patterns, and that sort of thing. <laughs> it's really really cool. Now one cool thing that uh, Chip is going to be doing with this, um, if you order any of his products uh, and if you use the code KSGG Wallet, um, I'm flashing that down below somewhere um, he will actually throw in a wallet now it's gonna be a random color or something like that so you're you're spinning the wheel but uh, but all the colors are really cool and frankly I think it's awesome that you're getting a free wallet with this so chip thank you so much for uh, making that available to all the viewers it's really cool I don't get any kicks but uh, kickbacks for this guys um, I never get kickbacks for any videos I do so uh, this is all just to help you guys out and just to give you another option out there and, uh, and that's what's fun for me of course and uh, and I <laughs> admittedly I get to keep some of these products and, uh, and and very excited to continue to use them. I've been using the wallet as well. I pulled everything out, of course, before the video, but uh, but it's really nice. It's thin. It doesn't get in the way. I'm used to a pretty thin wallet anyway, so um, it definitely fit very nicely. And because everything is so nicely finished on here, it's not cutting or scraping jeans or shorts or anything like that. Um, and it's it's going to last a long time and it's not going to beat up your clothes. So um, And it can also be definitely a conversation piece as well. You pull something like this out, especially with the pattern like 
like this and people want to know what it is and what's going on. So uh, that can be a lot of fun as well. Guys, it's been a lot of fun to try out Renaissance Firearms. Chip at Renaissance is absolutely amazing. He's really just a, a very cool guy. He's a shooter. He is one of us, and that is so important to me. All the companies that I partner with, I want to make sure that they are really, truly shooters and enjoy uh, the firearms community, the 2A community, that sort of thing. That's really important to me. And it's been a lot of fun to try out the Drake Pancake Holster, the Hudson Magazine Carrier, and the Wallet. Don't forget that coupon code, KSGG Wallet to get a free uh, wallet with your order. And uh, guys, remember, I don't get any kickbacks or anything for any for any products that I ever feature on uh, the channel. In fact, that's a stipulation of mine. I want no money or anything like that. I like to explore the products. It's a lot of fun. And anytime there's any sort of a coupon or a kickback for you guys, I want to make sure that uh, I can get that for you. And periodically that does happen. So um, I really appreciate that from Chip. And uh, this has been a lot of fun. Guys, be sure to sound off down below. Let me know what you think about these, the background, and any experiences you guys have with Renaissance Firearms. I'm always looking forward to those conversations. Thanks so much for joining me and I will see you next time.